So, working in your triangles, we're just pasting the hair just onto the roots that haven't already been coloured. Taking it through, into the hair, onto the next section. Lift up a section, keeping very, very fine sections and painting it onto the roots. Onto the next bit. Then take your next section, apply your colour, then apply your colour to the next section and then take another one. By doing it this way, you guarantee that you're getting real full coverage um, and not just, you know, sort of splodging it on as such. Okay, so really nice, neat sections. Again, like I said before, make sure that you can see through your section. Um, that's really important. If you take really thick sections, you, you, you're not going to get the coverage. You're going to find that you will come out with a patchy look. As you can see I'm just literally painting it on where I've already, what I haven't painted on. We don't want to overlap on the colour. You can see we've still got some of the colour, the natural colour there, so we're just going to go over that. Take the next section. As you can see I'm just completely just working with uh, just your brush and your, and your tint bar. That's all you really need to use. It is a, a very, very messy technique, this one. Um, so again, really just make sure that you have got all your protective equipment on. Okay, so working right down. When we get down to the near the nape, you need to be quite careful because a lot of people have really, really low hairlines and particularly your nape rules. So, if you can see here, the model has a nape rule, so we're just going to make sure we paint that right down, right down the hairline on that side. And make sure we're just getting all behind the hairline here. Okay. So, that side's done. Again, flick out so we can get all that the air to circulate around the hair. Right, on to the next section now. Again, just taking that all the way through. You do need to be relatively quick at doing this application um, so it can really sort of look at taking quite evenly. This application, what I'm doing now, which is your roots, your regrowth, is, is a very popular technique um, used in all salons. Especially for your, your elderly clients who come in and have their hair done, say, what, six, six weeks, and they just sort of maybe just have the roots touched up, and then, um, you know, the ends might just be freshened up. Continue working right down. And being quite firm as well, we find sometimes, especially when you first start training, that you, you know, you're worried about hurting your client. You need to sort of make sure that you, you know, you are in control of the brush, you are in control of the client's hair. So you know, you can really sort of, you know, not be obviously rough, but a bit firmer than what you, um, what you think you can get away with. And again, I'm just going to check around the outer edges. So really, we're just checking that we've got all of that covered. So, I'm going to now work on the side using exactly the same technique. 
work in in your triangular sections. We've got right round here. So. I'm going to leave the, the front, the very front hairline to the last. A again, this is really to do with the, um, the fact that you can get slight re uh, root glow. This is when obviously at the front of the hair, the client's hair, um, you tend to have it, it can be a lot finer, and also it is, particularly on uh, my model, there is a, a slight touch of grey there. So we'll just leave that side to the very end. So what we're going to do now is do the final section. Final little section now. Okay, and again, I've just left the, the hairline to the very end. So, what I'm just going to do now, just check down the part there. And then we're going to go around to the hairline. This is really, really important on your hairline. It's like I said before, it does um, it, you know, you can show a lot of your, your grey through here. And if you do miss this part, obviously it's the most noticeable. You see, you tend to get these really stray fine hairs as well. Just try and brush them into it. Okay, so that's all that area covered. What we're going to do now is what we did earlier, was our cross-section check-in. Okay, so, taking the end of your, your tint brush and we're just going to cross-section check it. And what we're looking for, just to make sure that we haven't missed any little bits at all. Okay, so we're just going through. So the idea is, is to go really sort of the opposite way as to what we applied the colour, you can see. Really checking through, making sure there's nothing, no patches missing. It's fine. This side. So once that's on, we now again just go round, making sure that all the air can actually circulate through it all evenly. Again, this just gives you an opportunity to look closely also if uh, you know if there is some bits that you may have missed. So that's our colour um, application completed. Um, so we've done a, a mid-length to end application, then we've gone on to a root application. We're now going to be leaving this on for 40 minutes to develop. Each 
company um, might actually have their own sort of set development times, um, but the products that we will be using um, today, it's a 40 minute waiting time. Okay?